Oh hi, I didn't see you there. My name is Bliss Foster and today we are going to talk about the rumors that are swirling about Raph Simmons joining the Prada Group. Just after a pretty outstanding Paris Fashion Week show for the fall winter 2020 season, rumors started circulating that Dad is going to go to the Prada Group, specifically to Miu Miu. The last 15 years, Raph has been absolutely crushing it at his eponymous label while simultaneously dodging and weaving in and out of other designer houses. He had a period as the creative director at Jill Sander. He's had his long-standing collaboration with Adidas that just recently ended. He had his tenure at Dior and he also of course went to Calvin Klein to make the most futuristic Western wear of all time. We know that the company Raph Simmons is very small and that dad doesn't have a whole lot of aspirations of growing the thing to some crazy monstrosity. He has it small on purpose. He likes it being small and flexible and just being able to express himself and stay completely independent. But he also really likes collecting art and I don't know if the eponymous label is gonna be able to buy you a new sterling ruby piece. So he gets big checks from big houses. This rumor originally started gaining a lot of steam when Jacob Gallagher, who's a style writer for the Wall Street Journal, tweeted it out simply saying, Raph Simmons rumored to go to Prada. And the rumor absolutely exploded after he took that tweet down, which is hilarious to be honest, because like it could kind of go either way with that, right? Like it could be that the powers that be were like, no one must know, remove your tweet. But he also could have just gotten a text from Raph that said, no, I'm not, can you take that tweet down? Personally, I think the most likely scenario is that this is a possibility, but that they're in negotiations for it right now. So whether this is true or not true, let's put that aside for a second and just talk about what would this mean if Raph were to to go over there. I honestly think this would be a really interesting move for the man's career. The upside, the positive of the possibility of him going to Miu Miu are that Raph would be back at a house where the type of art that he makes can be appreciated by the customer base that they already have. Him going to Calvin Klein, he made a lot of really, really outstanding stuff. But the more cynical side of me says that the customer base for Calvin Klein is not ready to pay over a thousand dollars for anything other than a car. So when Raph landed that job at Calvin Klein, he was starting the 205 NYC 3687, and he was having to build them a customer base from scratch, it would seem. And building a customer base from scratch based on a very new aesthetic that he was building. On the flip side, if he were to go to Miu Miu, he already has that audience there that's ready to buy stuff at that price point. There's often a lot of misunderstandings about the role that Miu Miu plays within the context of the Prada group. This is not a diffusion line. This is not cheap Prada. They are still a luxury company. They're what's technically referred to as a subsidiary or a daughter company, which just means that they are creatively controlled by Prada, which is to say it is creatively controlled by Grandmama Mucha. And I think the dad's aesthetic fits really cleanly into the aesthetic world that Miu Miu has already built. And I think that all fashion head guys really want to see the uh, menswear Miu Miu come back. The downside of all of this is that the eponymous label Raph Simmons tends to suffer creatively when he is working for another company. And while he definitely had some really banger collections while he was at Calvin Klein and at Dior, there just isn't the consistency that you see when he is totally out of the job and just working for himself. And I guess that's sort of a weird mentality for me to have. Like, I mean, the man's work is the man's work. It's not like having it spread out among a bunch of different labels makes it not Raph pieces. I just kind of want the the legacy of the Raph Simmons label to be secure, which is probably ultimately kind of dumb. But if I reach deep down into my feelings box and just show you whatever's in there, that's what it is. I kind of just want Raph to work for himself. The label does have a really bright future though. I mean, the new sneakers that he just announced look uh, incredible, especially this one that is definitely enigmatic of the uh, post-sneaker world theory. This philosophy of shoe design is what's going to start pushing us forward into the next era of hype footwear. This like combination of a sneaker design mentality along with other types of shoes. In this case, a low men's ballet heel. If you really love Dad Simmons' work and you wanna learn more about it, you should definitely check out my 20 minute analysis of a single Raph runway show. The references in these things are incredibly nuanced and learning more about them really helped me 
to appreciate his work overall much more. That's down in the description. You should definitely click on it. Subscribe. Uh, I do lots of fashion analysis. Usually I'm not doing like news and updates and stuff. I tend to do very in-depth analyses of runway shows. For Rick Owens, I've done one for Raph Simmons, obviously, Comme de Garçon, Craig Green. I now am involved in a 55 part series, five, five part series, where I'm exploring every single runway show that Martin Margiela ever produced. And I don't wanna get too excited, but this channel is all that you need to be happy. So yeah, you should check it out. You should also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and support me on Patreon because let's be real, there is nobody else in the whole wide world making fashion content like this. Thanks so much for joining me. Love you, mean it. Bye.